Not good news coming in from the Arsenal camp as Thomas Party has been left out of the Arsenal's US tour in there for you. Mikel Ateita, misery after misery in here for him. After getting some good of positives, some bit of positives during the preseason, their first game against Newburgh, Gabriel Jesus coming in and really hitting the ground running in there for you and have a story coming in from the ground of Arsenal that he really scored in the pre, in another friendly game they replayed at Conley and really scored in there for you. So they are really being hit by a very, very big, big hammer blow in there for you. Losing Thomas Party at this time of the season sends you back into the market to complicate your own already complicated job of really bringing you signings in there for you. You are looking for more three. That means Arsenal is going to go in and bring in four because Thomas Pate looks like has been ruled out of the season of Arsenal in there for you, according to what we are really reading from reports coming in from the Times in there for you. We are talking Chukukweka in there for you, coming in from Aston Villa, being linked to Arsenal. We are talking Gabriel Jesus, Thomas Pate, Bernard Leno, and Balogan into this episode of Rokani Media Football. It's our second video of the day, and I know you guys are here to enjoy it, and you're going to enjoy it in there for you. Smash the like button, comment, and share. And if you're totally watching us for the very first time, endeavor to go in the lower right bottom corner, smash the subscription button after smashing it. <laughs> Hit the notification bell that will enable you to get notified each and every time I upload a video onto this channel in there for you. Without further ado, let's really set the ball rolling in there for you as this is what you guys are in here for. Now, we are having Prek Brown 95 has said that Arsenal played an in-house friendly match this evening or yesterday evening before flying to US today. The match finished 1-1 with Gabriel Jesus once again getting on the score sheet. So it looks like Arsenal have really got in a goal merchant. They've got in a goal machine in Gabriel Jesus. That's not a doubt. For me, I don't doubt his capabilities on putting that ball at the back of the net. Vermin Poyer saying he has never even scored 20 goals in the Premier League. Reason was simple. Pep Guardiola was not playing him into his favorite position. Getting him from Parameras from Brazil, this guy was a certified number nine. Certified center forward. For the very first time in his career, ever since he crossed to the Premier League in 2017, he's getting a chance to play into a position that he's best known for. He's going to score those goals. Wait for him when Arsenal is in America playing alongside Columbus, Chelsea, and Everton. He's really going to be scoring those goals, trust me. He's going to score those goals because that's what he was created for. Him and scoring goals are inseparable. You get? He has come on from Man City. People have been really telling him that, please, you don't score goals in there for you, but ask yourself, what was his output when he was really fronted to play as a number nine at Man City? In some games, he scored even four goals. I saw him score close to how many goals? Four goals in one game, and I think other two games he scored a breast in there for you. So he is really good. He's really good. And to me, him going ahead to score goals is not news to me. I know he's going to go in and score those goals. And it's really going to impact a lot in Arsenal's season because when you look at the season of Arsenal, they scored, they never scored very many goals. Now, adding in a player who's going to get you close to 30 goals a season is really immense. And I predict it with authority and authenticity. He's scoring his first 20 goals in the Premier League. In the first 10 games, I see him even closing into 10 goals in his first 10 games because Arsenal has improved so much on its creativity. When you have Odegaard, when you have Martinelli, when you have Fabio Vieira, that means you are improving your creativity for a side which goes by the names of Arsenal. So Mikel Arteta's side is really going to be looking a lot to create for this guy. And the good thing with him is that he's not this orthodox number nine who is going to be standing there to wait for the ball to come in through. He comes in, he participates a lot in the build-up play, and he makes those runs. And he's not always late in the box. He can start, he can start an attack from the center line. By the time that ball reaches the 18 yards box area of the opponent, he would have already reported. You saw that goal that he scored, the first goal he scored against Nuremberg. He started that run from the right side or the right flank. He cut inside. He played into Lokonga 
and a double pass was made to him and he was already there but remember he was the man that started that run so to me i will believe that arsenal got themselves a, a player who can really go ahead to score goals who goes by the names of gabriel jesus and kudos to arsenal in there for you and i think you have all the rights to be highly expectant from this brazilian born that is that is gabriel jesus now, this is a breaking story coming in from the Times from Gary Jacobs. He's a sports reporter, the Times personal account, and in there for you, he's a reporter and very much credible. Said Thomas Party will not travel to America with the squad of their preseason tour. He will stay and train at Colney. Bernard Leno has also been omitted as he looks to seal a 10 million pound move to Fulham in there for you. So it has been confirmed. Thomas Party. Is not with Arsenal either for you. This is a big blow. This is a big blow. Thomas Pate is one of those defenders, is one of those players at Arsenal that gives you two in one. He gives you defensive cover and adds on when Arsenal is going forward. So, Arsenal was looking for seven players when this season or when this, when this preseason, sorry, when this summer started. So far, they brought in for Marquinhos, Matt Turner, Fabio Vieira, and Gabriel Jesus. If they are looking for more three, they're not going to look for more four because it looks like the case that Thomas Partey is having is hindering him from really being an Arsenal player. And who knows when this case is going to come to an end? No one. That's why Mikel Ateta is in deep shit. He has to go in and look in for a player. Good enough is that they've already agreed terms with Tiedemans. I think it's high time they really gave this deal green light to go in and cash in for Tiedemans from Leicester City because it looks like they need a player that is like Thomas Partey and I think Tillemans really is more or less than Thomas Partey in there for you and he has a more a more game going forward statistics stats all stats he has more stats going forward than Thomas Partey but who is really going to go ahead to give that Thomas who is really going to go ahead to give Arsenal that defensive cover that Thomas Partey was giving them because not going to the tour means that he's totally out of Arsenal. And as that story that was reported way back by the police, they say that, that the person in the late 20s who really stays in North London, a player, might miss the preseason. That's okay. Preseason friendlies, he has missed them. And remember, what really confirmed to us that it's Thomas Party that they're talking about was... A story was reported that by Chris Whitley that he had traveled to Germany to go and play that game of Nuremberg. Then later he told us that I apologize for that which I really put up earlier. Thomas Party stayed in London. This time round, Thomas Party was supposed to travel with Arsenal to America, USA. And guess what? He never, he never, he never traveled with them. He's going to start at Conley. And that video that you saw him with his car traveling or arriving at Ronconi was okay because he goes to train there, but the club has not yet released a single photo of Thomas Party, meaning that the allegations on him are serious. I'm not saying, quote me right, guys, who watch this channel. I'm talking about allegations. I'm talking about allegations. I've used the right word. I'm not saying that he's guilty. You are guilty you are guilty until proved that you are guilty in the court of law so thomas party is still innocent but there are serious allegations on him that cannot really allow him to come out and play ball for a side which goes by the names of arsenal in there for you a very big bro thomas party i think arsenal was really going to their huge season with thomas party in their midfield odegaard fabio vera paqueta and the very many signs they're looking at. So it really changes the transfer cycle of Arsenal. As they're looking in for a central defender, left back, they have to go in and look in for a central defensive midfielder. Is Atita going to go ahead and trust El Nini and going to Jaka to play that position? I doubt. I doubt because it took him close to 32 games of the season to trust El Nini. And why did he trust him? Because he had no option. All the players are really trying to do that into that position had really failed him so he decided let me let me put in El Nini and El Nini really showed up a very good display in the game of Chelsea so can El Nini really lift himself to that level 
of making Arsenal fans forget about Thomas Partey and making his manager Ateta believe that he can play that role very well until when this case really gets to an end. So that's what Thomas Partey is all about. He's going to start an uncalling the training there for you, but he's not traveling. He's not traveling to America, US. Very big brother side, which goes by the names of Arsenal. But wait and see what is really going to change into the transfer strategy of Arsenal in there for you. Now, Edu should go in and push in for people like Tillemans in there for you to come in and get that job done. But there is a Parades. Parades at PSG, I think, is being offered to very many clubs around Europe, as confirmed by Fabrizio Roman. I think Parades will be a very good addition to the Arsenal side in there for you. 35 million pounds. He's up for grabs. 28 years of age. Certified central defensive midfielder certified in there for you that is a man who goes by parades for the side which goes by the names of arsenal in the sorry psg and arsenal can really go ahead and really grab him and bring him in because they need an emergency they need an emergency central defensive midfielder to come and get the solution solved in there for you so we go to the story again he goes ahead to tell us that arsenal's touring party of the US is likely to include a number of players who have been made available to other clubs this summer as they do not appear close to an exit. They include Ansley Midland Nails, Hector Bellerin, Pablo Murray, Nicolas Pepe and Rich Nelson. So all of these players, Arsenal want them sold. They want them off the grip but they are going to be part of the tour at US because they are 100% sure that the more they excite into those games, the more they are really going to get suitors. Look at Eric Bay. In the game he played yesterday, Napoli is looking at him as a replacement for Kalibi Koulibaly. So one single game you play like this in the preseason that is so much exciting can really get you suitors and can really get you your next job. So as they say, a player is as good as the, entire, the 90 minutes that he has just played recently in there for you. So the minutes they're really going to have in America against Columbus, against Everton, and Chelsea are really going to help them go ahead and really draw a new plan for where they really want to go in the field because it looks like Mikel Ateta doesn't want to see them on his team next season. That is Ensley Midland Nails, Hector Bellerin, Pablo Murray, Nicolas Pepe, and Ray Nelson in there for you. The other person that has been left out and the reason has been given, Bernard Leno is close to a 10 million pound move to Fulham and has been offered a three-year contract to be the West London's first choice goalkeeper. Following Bolligan could live on loan and is expected to stay in London to negotiate a move. That is Gary Jacob of the Times drawing this out of the Arsenal side in the for you or the Arsenal drawer in the for you. They had kept it in the cupboard, but it's now official. Bernard Leno is not going with Arsenal to to America. <laughs> you know it's that. You know you you very you very much know it that when he was in Germany he was supposed to be part of that squad of Arsenal that played that game of Nuremberg. But when his agents told Arsenal that, please, Fulham is in need of him, they said, all right, you're out of the squad even. That's why you saw Matt Turner and Okwonko into goal in those two different halves altogether. So that is Arsenal in there for you. So Bernard Leno is going out of Arsenal. £10 million are really coming in for Arsenal. I think that's good business for them. And the other player is Farol Balogan. He's really working on his move in there for you and is expected to stay in London to negotiate a move. And it's so much better to be negotiating a deal like a loan. When it goes through, you go to the preseason with that team that you're going to belong to because it helps you get a very good kickstart of your season. The preseason helps you engulf yourself into the team that you are really being offered to and it will help you really hit the ground running by the beginning of the season but getting you towards the end of the end of the the end of the the end of the transfer window doesn't really give you lots of helps in there for you so 100% believe Balogan is a very good player he has a very hard shot he has the energy he has the intensity i think some quick fit on him he really has genuine qualities and potential and i really believe that he should be loan in there for you and i really believe that he has a structure that can go in and play in the premier league very well and i know he's really going to hit the ground round and make it to the levels we expect him to be in there for you that's the man who goes by names of Faron balogan in there for you being linked to a side which goes by names of being linked out of arsenal to alone move not a permanent move in there for you by gary jacobs in there for you a sports reporter at the times 
in there for you and smash the like button guys comment and share now there is a man known as grammy bailey he he he's responsible for the transfer news on what we call the 90 more 90 minute football in there for you he's going to tell us that a host of leading clubs at home and board including arsenal are keeping tabs on us aston villa midfielder starlet kani chukwemeka 90 more understands it understands that Arsenal would be open to trying to learn Kuchumeka this summer. I think Chumukumeka is really a left-footed player who plays on the right side of the attacking side of the midfield. What does it show you that? Arsenal are really the market looking for a player who plays like Rafinha. And Rafinha not coming to Arsenal did them bad. So they are in the market to go in and look for this guy because he plays with the left foot. I remember seeing him at the field of play for Aston Villa very many times. But ask yourself, is Aston Villa willing to sell this lad? Because Aston Villa is not money hungry. They have the money. This lad is from the young setup of Aston Villa. He's one of the most promising talents I've seen. So is Aston Villa willing to sell him? That's a big question that Aston really has to go in and ask themselves, especially the people who support Arsenal in there for you. But we look at 90 more for no, not all that a credible source, but nowadays, any agent can use any media platform, however small it is, to portray the news he wants out in there. Depends on how much he trusts you and how you're really going to put out the information because the top, top, top tier journalists don't want to let out certain, certain news because when they get that news, they have to call, they have to call to inquire from the client that's going to talk about, you get? When it doesn't confirm, then that story will be really dumped into the dustbin. So they are now using these other platforms that don't really do a lot of research to go in and read out the news. So a man who goes by names of Chikumeka for Aston Villa is being looked at Arsenal in there by Arsenal in there for you to go in and really get himself done. And let's get a look at, at this guy, Kanre Chu. He's called Kanre Chukwimeka. Chukwi, Chukwimeka. I think he's a Nigerian, but he grew up in Nigeria. He grew up in, in London in there for you. So let's let's see who Chukwimeka is. Let's have a look a little bit of who Chukwimeka is. And what he really did for Aston Villa last season in there for you. What I know is left-footed. I know he's left-footed. You get? All right. Let's have a look at him and how he really did last season in the Premier League. Because I saw him being brought on very many times by Steven Gerrard. Promising young talent. And I know Arsenal might be linked to him because he's a left-footed player. And Arsenal is going to get linked to very many left-footed players after missing out on Rafinha. He played... 12 games in the Premier League, 0 goals and 1 assist in there for you. And in the EFL Cup, he played 2 games in there for you with a 0 assist and 0 goals. So he's 18 years of age. He's really a professional footballer who plays as a midfielder for Premier League club Aston Villa. He was born, he was born in Austria to Nigeria parents. He represents England at the youth national level in there for you. I told you, he's tall enough, 1.8 meters tall. That is the lad that Aston is really looking at and... I just take it with a pinch of salt. Not all that a deal that I will believe that Arsenal could go in and die for because they are not looking for players like him, according to me. If you have Marquinhos, there is no reason as to why you're going in for Chikumeka because he never really put up a very outstanding performance that could really wow Arsenal to get this player. That's what I'm telling you, that it might be the agent of this guy who's putting out a story. And when you put out a story... And your players rated to Arsenal, it really wakes up ears of teams that are looking for lefted footed players in there for you. And this lad has no time to play at Aston Villa because there is Leon Bailey who plays that side. And I know he doesn't get he's not going to get enough playing time, and the agent knows it. So the agent is trying to secure this guy a deal out of Aston Villa because he believes that Leon Bailey is another level. And this player of his won't get enough playing time. That's why this lad is linked to Arsenal in there for you. That's it. That's it. According to me, and those are my views in there for you as Rock and David. But you can as well go into the comment section and tell me what you think about Thomas Pate. Left out of Arsenal's US tour. Gabio Jesus scoring another in another Arsenal game in there for you. Then Bernard Leno leaving. He has also been left out and Balogan. So three players. Mikel has left out. Thomas Pate. 
his reasons you know them very well he's being he's being accused or allegedly accused of rape and there are three women in there for you in the case second Bernardino a move to, to Fulham 10 million pounds are really going to exchange hands from Aston Villa to us sorry from from Fulham to Arsenal then Balogan is working on his loan move because he has no position at Arsenal next season which is good for him then this Aston Villa guy who is being linked to Arsenal a story that 100% thrown down in my dustbin because I don't believe that Arsenal could go in and bring in a player who is not going to start or give Bukayo Saka a push. Thank you guys for watching in. I'll sign out for now. See you later and more stories are really coming in for the transfers of Arsenal. And today, I promise you we are going for five stories. This is the second story. Three more to go and the live stream may be latest.